I'm saying this to you so you don't fall in those ways. So you don't sit there and waste your beauty. You look pretty on eating Oreo cookies and in pork chops and sex and potatoes and sit up there and get fat. Okay, last video of the day. The name of this video, I got a lot, a lot of videos. First of all, if y'all have noticed, this is like my third video in this outfit and I ain't go nowhere. I just been rolling afterwards. I got the title of the video on my little paper and then I'm just ready to talk because I have so many experiences that I want to share with you all. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, stay focused. Uh, which one is this? The truth hurts. This is going to be real, real short. The last video of the day. Real, real short. And real, real... You ain't gonna be sweet either because y'all not gonna like me after this one but i'm sorry i'm not here for likes <laughs> i'm here for the divine feminine for the relationship side of my channel and so here we go the truth hurts you are not a 10. you are not sorry sis mm -mm. i don't i really don't even look at myself as as a 10 in the physical reality I don't, I feel like that'd be braggadocious. Yeah, but y'all heard, y'all heard that song, um, Be Humble. Sit down. Be Humble. Sit down. Okay, let's, let's sit down. Anyway, you are not a 10 if you are obese. You're not a 10. You can call it what you want. You can call that fat what you want, sis, but that means you're not a 10. And the main place that you should probably want to start is your gut. Because if your gut health is out of balance, everything else will be knocked out of balance. If your eyes are bad, your gut is out of balance. If your legs are ashy, <laughs> your gut is out of balance. It all starts in the gut. Because that's where 70 to 80% of the immune system lies. If you missing your edges, you are not a 10. You need to grow your edges back. That, 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 maybe that'll make you a good seven <laughs> or eight. But there are really few people in the physical reality that are tens. Because tens, I feel, are there when maybe we're youthful, when we're like 21 years old, when we're in our youth. And everything's nice and tight and we nice and vibrant. But, but everybody, at that point, some people don't even get it yet. They don't even have the self-esteem yet. So they are 10 and don't even know it. <laughs> you are not a 10 if you have a whole bunch of children. If you have children for other men, because like um, a man really don't want to take care of another man's children, to be honest. And that's pretty much why I feel like one of the reasons why I, I wanted to be single and raise my children so my children could know of me and know of their father and know of no one else and i feel like i've successfully completed that and i'm thankful that i was able to complete that they have some men in the physical reality that will probably take your children as if they're yours but they are kind of few they're kind of few and i just never believed in that bringing families grouping families together because in the deepest of people's heart they know that there is a separation there and some people will treat those children different i come up with experience of knowing what that step relationships could be all about and could be like and i just choose not to put my children in that type of position but you know how to tend to us if you have all kind of children running around your house and all kind of different baby daddies you are not a 10 if you have a nasty attitude. You are not a 10 if you're walking around wishing to do good. You are not a 10 if you if you telling him that he is um, not SHIT, doing anything to emasculate a man. You're not a 10. You are something else, but we don't call that a 10 though. Okay? You are not a 10 if you do not know how to exude feminine energy. You are not a 10 if you don't know how to be vulnerable and open up your heart to someone and not in a thirsty chick type way but just letting somebody know how you feel without hooping and hollering and jumping and stumping and doing all kind of things that are crazy and deranged okay <laughs> you are not a 10 if you do not have the luck 
You know, you can't just walk around talking about you a 10 and you don't comb your hair. You can't walk around here talking about you a 10 and you you don't put on decent clothes. You don't never wear heels. You don't get your yourself adorned in some kind of way. Because everybody have a different way to make this up look a little bit better. Some people may feel as though, you know, less makeup and I think less is better. Some people believe in natural beauty, but enhancing what you do have can make you a little bit more beautiful. And let's be honest here in the physical reality, men pay attention to the physical. They are paying attention to the curves on the body. They're paying attention to whether or not you are fit. They're paying attention to how your eyes look, how your tits look, how your lips look. They're paying attention to if your nails are done and your hair done, your hair's done, you told they pay attention because they're visual creatures. So last but not least, <laughs> you are not a 10 if you are not physically fit. I mean, having the ability to maybe walk or run or work out or do some little weights or something to keep you active because of the simple fact that when a man, and this is my opinion, huh? when a man is sizing you up and looking at your curves and, and, and maybe pursuing you in a relationship, the thought is going to come one day of how you're going to look after you have his children. And if that thought makes you look obese, mm -mm, you're not them. So I just really wanted to share that with some people in the physical reality because I know in the physical reality a lot of women are um, delusional when it comes to this. A lot of women don't want to accept this. A lot of women probably try to attack me in the comments. So y'all help me in the comments if that get done. <laughs> I'm not trying to be ugly with nobody. Like I said, in a humble way, I don't feel as if I am a 10 per se. I don't know that I'm not the prettiest woman in the world, but I do know that my heart chakra is open. <laughs> How about that for some good energy? I do know that my heart chakra is open. I do know that um, I bring value. I do know that I am nice to look upon. I do know that I am a feminine, divine woman. <laughs> I do know that... I do know how to treat people, you know, and so those those are some good qualities to have. You, even if you're not the prettiest woman in the world, you know, you could be. You could have other qualities that you know make you uniquely divine or uniquely um, feminine. And so I just really wanted to share that with people, especially those who just walk around talking to men in any kind of way and wondering why they are not chosen wondering why they're deemed maybe boring because you have no self-expression you know see a man is already he's already masculine he don't need you to to show him your hard side he don't need you to show him what masculinity is by you being tough by you being strong by you not being able to tell him how you feel because he already got that Dig it out, because that's the kind of stuff he did. No, he needs you, sh you to show him the opposite. Show him what, what none of his boys can show him, you know? Show him, you know, what, what walking in the room, shutting down a room with a dress and heels feels like. Show him what it feels like to be girly and dainty and, and soft, you know? Show him, show him that, because his boys can't show him that. He can't show himself that. He needs you to show him that. So you you not tell if you can't show him. You 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 just you just not. Go on and figure out how to show him. Go. Bye. Oh, the truth hurts. I want it to hurt. I want it to hurt really really bad. I want it to hurt so bad that you do something with that energy. And you become a greater version of yourself that's what you do with that type of energy you use it to become better than you once were the younger version the, the youth you know the little girls that's coming up i'm saying this to you so you don't fall in those ways 
So if you don't sit there and waste your beauty, you'll look pretty on eating Oreo cookies and, and pork chops and steaks and potatoes and sit up there and get fat <laughs> and get up out of alignment with yourself. So you don't lay down on your back because, oh, because I love him. Mm -mm. And impregnate with yourself with a child from another man who's no longer in your life. I'm saying this to the young girl that, that so she wouldn't lose her edges, <laughs> go bald-headed and don't take care of her natural self, her natural glory. I'm saying that because these are the type of things that we should be saying to the younger generation. Nobody don't talk about they, 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 mm, their, their, their mishaps or, or the things that they could have done a little bit different. Everybody's trying to fake it till they make it and trying to make their life seem so glorious, so perfect. No, there's some things that we could share because that's experiences that we're sharing to other people. You know, I'm saying that so so that you don't believe in this fairy tale love thing. That you don't sit there and, and just think, oh, I'm going to wait on Jesus to send me somebody. You waiting on what? When all that you really had to do was be in the divine feminine and take care of yourself. All you had to do was just a little couple of tweaks to stay. <laughs> looking delicious. Looking appealing to the eye of the opposite sex. So yeah, yeah, I, I want it to hurt. I want it to hurt so you can get as close as to being that 10 that you possibly can be. So your life could be easy and not rough. So that you could be submissive and not hard. So that you could be feminine and not masculine. Yeah. Yeah, I want it to hurt. I want it to hurt really, really good. Now it's your turn to use that hurt. Make you feel better. Be blessed.